On the go from Wilsonville Public Library. That's right. My name is Brad, and I'm Joe. And we <laughs> shall get started here with our welcome Hello, song. Yes. Yeah. Is there anything else we want to tell people before we get going, Joe? No. No. Okay. I think we're all just good. Just bend to the All right. Get your waivers going, and we will wave hello. Oh, it's time to wave hello to all our friends. Hello. hello. Oh, it's time to wave hello to all our. Oh, it's time to wave hello. We've got stories on the go. Oh, it's time to wave hello to all our friends. Hello. Hello, friends. <laughs> all right. So today we have a special story mm -hmm. that I'm going to actually ask everyone to tell with me. You are. I Fun. Yes. So I'm going to go start getting ready for that and okay. I'll let you tell them about the book. All right. Well, the story Brad's going to have you help him with today is called The Napping House. It's by Audrey and Don Wood, one of my favorites. And I love this particular story because it's a cumulative story. And you know, we talk about early learning skills that you can share at home, and a narrative skill is a great way to learn to tell a story. And the Napping House does this because of its cumulative storytelling. Have fun with it. Okay, it's time to tell the story of The Napping House by Audrey and Dawn Wood. Now you can tell this one along with me if you'd like. All you need is five stuffed animals, okay? I've got a bed here. You don't have to have a bed. Any flat surface will work. And it doesn't matter if you have the same characters from the story. It's just going to be fun to stack them up together and then see what happens in the end. All right? If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. I would ask you to make a napping house with me. So whenever we say the napping house, we'll draw a roof, kind of slant down, and walls, the napping house. And we'll say where everyone was sleeping. Let's jump in. There was a house, a napping house, where everyone was sleeping. Shh. And in that house, there was a bed, a cozy bed in the napping house, where everyone was sleeping. Shh. On that bed, there was a granny. Hello, granny. Hello. <laughs> we'll put her to bed. Okay, so you can lay your first stuffy down with us on your table. Okay. <laughs> put her to bed. Ah. And she was a snoring granny. <laughs> in a cozy bed, in the napping house, where everyone was sleeping. On that granny, there was a child. <laughs> Here's our child below. Hello. <laughs> it goes on the child, so add your next stuffed animal. Oh. Not the most comfortable way to sleep. Ah, ah there we go. Ah, <laughs> on that granny, there was a child, a dreaming child on a snoring granny <laughs> in a cozy bed in the napping house where everyone was sleeping. On that child, there was a dog. Can you get another stuffy? Another stuffed animal? Oh, there was a dog. <laughs> he wasn't barking. He was a dozing dog. 
on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, in a cozy bed, in the napping house, where everyone was sleeping. Now, on that dog, there was a cat. Okay, get your next animal, and you can put it up on top, sleepy. Good, good, miss. Okay. <laughs> A snoozing cat on a dozing dog on a dreaming child on a snoring granny in a cozy bed in the napping house where everyone was sleeping. Shh. On that cat there was a mouse. Can you put your next stuffed animal up on top too? A little mouse. A slumbering mouse on a sleeping cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny. <laughs> in a cozy bed, in the napping house, where everyone was sleeping. Now, take your fingers and pinch. Pinch. That is going to be our little flea. That's right. Okay. Flea goes on top. <laughs> now, there was a flea. A wakeful flea. Yes, he's awake and jumping up and down. Oh boy, what does that wakeful flea do? Oh, it bites the mouse. Mm, who scratches the cat? Mm, who scares the dog? Mm, who thumps the child? Mm, who bumps the granny? Mm, who breaks the bed? Oh, no! In the napping house. Where no one now is sleeping. The end. I hope you will get um, a video or pictures of the story that you are telling and you will share it with me. You can email that to us at children's at wilsonvillelibrary.org or you can add it to your social media accounts and tag us, message us, let us know that you've done that, send it to us. Um, if you need any help with that, give us a call. The library is available during open hours. Call us at 503-682-2744. <laughs>I hope you had as much fun as I did telling the Napping House story, and I hope you get to tell it over and over, and I hope you will share it uh, with us. Uh, another thing that I'd love for you to share is some drawing time. So go get yourself something to write on, okay? A piece of paper, any paper will do, and something to draw with. It can be anything that you are comfortable holding, if that's a crayon or a marker or a pencil, whatever you would like and try drawing this with us. We're gonna do our own little napping house. Very simple. We'll walk through the shapes together, okay? Uh, so I'll give you a minute. You can pause if you need in order to go get your pen and paper, and don't worry, uh, we, you can, and then you can come back at any time. While you're going to grab those things, just a reminder, uh, big people, part of the drawing piece of what we do is so cool because shapes are basically, they're, they're like pre-letters, right? You learn what a square is and a circle is and that sort of thing when you're really, really young. Well, all an A is is like a fancy triangle, right? And the letter O, that's just a circle. Every letter in the alphabet's a different shape. And then those shapes help us put letters together and put those letters put words together. Those words put meaning and then we can read and do all the other cool things. So, uh, so hopefully you've got your paper and your pen by now uh, or pencil or whatever. Uh, and we will get started. Ready? So napping house is very simple. We're going to start with a square, okay? Don't worry about making it perfect. Napping house got kind of banged up, right? And so 
It doesn't have to be a perfect square, but so a square is straight lines that are pretty much equal. So there, and it's a little rectangular, that's okay. Something like that, okay? So that's the, the basic, the walls of our house and the bottom. Now, of course, we need a roof on top. So we're gonna kind of do like a triangle. So we'll go straight up to the middle and then straight down the other side, okay? We've got a basic house. You may have already drawn a house at some point. Um, the napping house that I'm gonna draw with you today, it's gonna have kind of a cool rounded door. Most doors we go through are big, tall rectangles. We're gonna, we're gonna just go up with a curve, okay? Kind of like a fancy little cottage, something like that. You don't see that too often in real life, but they do exist. I, you might even want to put a doorknob on. You don't have to, but you could put a little dot there for a doorknob. Now, we're going to give it some windows. Those are going to be little squares up top here. So hopefully they're a little close to even. So there's one square and then two squares. Now, something you might notice about this house, the way we've drawn it, it almost looks like it has two eyes and a mouth that's maybe yawning. <sighs> so what I like to do for fun, and you, you can do this if you would like to, is to just color in the windows so it looks like they're closed, like the eyes are closed. You can color in more solid if you want. You could use a color or crayon. You can color the rest of your house too if you'd like. Now, we're going to add one more thing if you want to add with us, and that's the letter Z. Okay, that might seem silly to you, and I'll show you how to draw a Z. It's very easy, but a lot of times in books, the way that they show us that someone is sleeping is they might have their eyes closed, and then coming somewhere out of their mouth, it might say, Z when you breathe out kind of weird at night, you Okay, so the letter Z goes across and then diagonal back down and across the bottom. Okay, you can try that. Straight lines, all of them straight lines. And then I like to do a little bit bigger one and a little bit bigger one. And maybe an even bigger one going all the way off. So you can hear, you can hear them snoring into the night. <laughs> and so that is our napping house. Now, once again, I would love, once you've got your drawing done, if you want to color it, whatever you did, we'd love to see your artwork anytime. We've got some great stuff that people have sent us in the past. Um, and it's a really, really fun thing to see what you guys are doing out there. So if you would, when you're all done, you can color it if you want. Uh, you don't have to. Take a picture of what you've done. Share it with us, children's at wilsonvillelibrary.org, or you can get it to us through Facebook or Instagram, something like that. All right, there's our napping house for the week. Uh, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> yes, I know. I hope everybody else is just having as much fun doing this stuff as I am. So. Can't wait to see the video. I know. <laughs> so, to end with our closing song, but before That's right. we do, mm -hmm. just want to remind everybody at home, look at our website, our library at home page. Um, we have some great things going on there. And also, if you have any questions about what's going on in library services, Give us a call at 503-682-2744. And, right. and we're getting ready for our summer reading program. So make sure you stay tuned to all our social media. Check out our website. Uh, we will get you all the information you need. And if you have any questions again, feel free to contact us. All right. All right. Should we get started? All right. Goodbye okay. song. Okay, get your goodbye waivers going nice and high. Here Woo. we go. Wave high, wave low, now it's time to go. Wave your elbows. Wave your elbows, time to fly. And your fingers. Wave your fingers and say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. We will see you guys next week.